Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about how you get more money than you have right now. Because let's face it, we could all do with a few more pounds in our pockets, right? Or dollars or whatever it is, the currency that you're in. So the way to earn money in the first place is, you know, legally, of course, is that you can get and go and get yourself a job. So a lot of people are employed by others, about by companies, by governments, and you know they basically sell their time for money. So you agree a contract which says, this is how many hours I'm going to give you, and your employer says, great, we're gonna pay you this rate of pay, so this is how much we're going to pay you. So that's a contract that we uh, enter into, contract, contract of employment, and we get paid accordingly. The problem with that is that there's only so many hours in the day. So unless your rate of pay is that of, you know, Ronaldo, then, you know, things are, things are difficult for most of us. The national wage in the UK currently is about £28,000 a year. And by the time you've taken out the taxes and all the deductions that are made um, by um, the government, there's not an awful lot left. And that's what people are finding that, you know, it's hard to make ends meet because the expenses of life keep going up and up and up. And so, you know, that's where all the problems come from. So I realized this very, very early on in my life. That I wasn't particularly qualified to do anything. So I didn't have great qualifications, which would lead it to a fantastic career on, you know, huge amounts of money. So very early on, I decided that the way, route for me was to become an entrepreneur. And I started my first business at the age of 24. And there have been many ups and downs and sometimes I quite frankly wish, you know, is this the right thing to do? And I'm sure most entrepreneurs would agree that once they start the business, there are times when they think, oh my God, what have I got myself into? But that's no different for employment. So most people that are currently going to work hate their jobs. So, you know, there's not a lot of difference there. So the acquisition of money then through business comes from providing value to the market. Now, money doesn't particularly care who you are, your age, your caste, your color, your creed, your background, it just doesn't care. It goes to the person or the people providing the most service. Now, those happen to be some of the richest people in the world. They're providing the greatest service to the greatest number of people. Now, in order to have money and to be, have a comfortable living, you don't need to do anything like those people. You know, eight, 10,000 pounds a month is a very comfortable living for most of us. It is for me. So how do you go about getting that? Well, you either upskill yourself at work so that you go for that next promotion. So, you know, I always talk to people about dressing for the job that they want. So also you need to behave for the job that you want. So look at what your manager's doing. What's the next promotion for you? Now, if you can start doing that, then, you know, if the company doesn't promote you, the next one will. You will go and find somebody that headhunts you if you're particularly good. So treat your job like you're an entrepreneur, like you're self-employed and do the best you can, become the best at it. And one day somebody will notice. Either you get a pay rise or you get promoted. Hopefully you'll get both. So the other route, which is preferable to me and many, many people, is that of business. Because the good thing about a business is when you build up a business, not only do you enjoy the fruits of your labors, you can actually sell that business and make even more money. And I've done that on three different occasions now, made money through having a business and then sold it for many multiples of what it was worth and ended up with a lump sum, which makes a really, really good way to be making money. So what service do you provide? Well, provide a service that you are good at providing. You know, the thing about self-employed people and business owners is they love doing what they do. So hence they spend many, many hours when other people are asleep, they wake up early, they stay up late to do their widget, whatever it is that they're supplying to the market. And so do something that you love, then it will never ever feel like you've done a day's work in your life. So start small, start part-time and get that business up and running as quickly as you can. Educate yourself, upskill yourself. You will need expertise and you'll need some capital. And there are people that can help you with all of those kind of things. The world is full of resources that you can go out and do. But you know something? What you've got to do is dedicate some time. So 
if you are the type of person that comes home, crashes on the sofa and watches sport all night or your favourite soaps or, you know, whatever else it is that you're doing that's not productive in furthering you for your goal of extra income, it's not going to come for you. So there are going to be some sacrifices, you know, and I can honestly tell you today that television really, really bores me. I find it, I get so agitated, even when I'm trying to watch something because I want to pull out my phone. I want to be looking at things, writing things down, and I'm constantly doing that. And you find that, you know, because we all have the same 24 hours in the day. So take away your eight hours of sleep, a couple of hours for your personal hygiene, a couple of hours of traveling to and from work, a couple of hours of eating, and looking after yourself, a couple of hours of family time, there's probably about 10 hours left. Now, you've got 10 hours to make the life of your dreams. But if you're then spending two and a half, three hours on social media, another two, three hours ringing up friends and talking about nonsense, there's not a lot of time left to be making money. And that should really be your number one priority because once you've gotten to your system that you can make some money, then that can just be on autopilot. Because we spend money whilst we sleep. You know, the electricity bill still needs paying. You know, the standing charges are there. The gas bill, the mortgage, the car payments, the credit card payments, they're all running up debt. You know, the interest doesn't stop on your uh, credit cards when you go to sleep. So you need to invent a system whereby you make money whilst you go to sleep. Makes sense, doesn't it? So those are the kind of things that you need to be thinking about. And those are the kind of things that will really, really get you to the point of making more money. You know, we live in a fantastic democracy. We live in a fantastic time. We live in a fantastic country. Opportunities are all round. And during this time now, we're going through the greatest transfer of wealth known to man in history ever. So the top people in the world have, are, have gained $400 billion in their wealth during this pandemic. So look, the money's out there, right? You just need to find a way to get your hands on it. So you need to become the conduit that the money goes from over there to you. So that's what you need to be doing. So we'll be talking more about that in later videos and uh, I'll be discussing it in much more depth uh, at other occasions that we're gonna have. So take care, look after yourselves and I'll see you again.